Good morning. Happy Friday. I hope you guys had a great week and I will be back on Monday and I'll be excited to see you guys. And yes, every day this week that I've done a five minute video, you've seen the same outfit because you know what? I did all these videos before I left in one day. But I wanted to make sure that I got to that you guys got to see me every day and that we had a little bit of class time to, together. So um, our question of the day today is what is a first listed diagnosis? Well, the easy answer is it tells you what it is. It's the diagnosis that you're going to list first. Definition isn't hard, but sometimes understanding the concept can be a little difficult. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go over a few scenarios together. So here we go. All right. So the first scenario says establish patients 50 years old with end stage renal disease currently receiving dialysis is seen for acute left upper quadrant pain. Okay, so let's talk this through. So we know he has end-stage renal disease, and we know that he is receiving dialysis. We know that we have to code those two things. But what's the first listed? What is he coming in for? He is coming for, or he's being seen for, acute left upper quadrant pain. So your first listed diagnosis is going to be acute left upper quadrant pain. And how would you look that up in the ICD-10? You would go to pain. Then you would see acute. I can't remember the exact line, but you would just follow the pathway from there. But you would go to pain. Okay, so let's go to the next one. It says established patient with complaints of shortness of breath. Upon examination, the physician determines she needed more aggressive treatment for her current congestive heart failure little bit trickier. So what's the first listed diagnosis? The physician determined what? That she needed more aggressive treatment for her congestive heart failure. So congestive heart failure is what your first listed is going to be. The, sh uh, the congestive heart failure is what's causing the shortness of breath. And the doctor determined that he's He's uh, positive that that's still what her diagnosis is. She just has more uh, exacer exacerbated conditions and symptoms. So your first listed is going to be congestive heart failure. So number three, patient is seen for unstable angina. He has a history of, I'm not going to even try to say that word. I'm going to mess it up. I can feel it. But coronary artery disease. So what is the patient being seen for? unstable angina. So that's your first listed. The next one and the last one is patient is seen for follow-up for hypertension. He has end-stage renal disease. So what is the patient being seen for? He's being seen for hypertension. Remember we talked about that earlier? It was on Monday. I-10 is the code, <laughs> but he also has end-stage renal disease, but he's being seen that day for hypertension. So you would code hypertension first, and then secondary uh, the secondary diagnosis would be end-stage renal disease. So I hope that that helped. If you stop and you take every little part of your sentence and really think about it, you're going to be able to tell what your first listed is. So um, that's the little lesson for the day. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.